Now many might ask, I have an addiction, it's haram, it's wrong, it's sinful, how do I give it up? Now many of us, especially if we take a look at the statistics, there are about 7 in 10 men who are addicted to pornography. So many men are addicted to probably alcohol. So many people are addicted to things that are just wrong and sinful on many fronts. How do we give them up? Well, the best advice I could give you is to beat shaitan at his own game. Learn how, the, learn how shaitan manipulates the people. Learn the tricks of shaitan and learn how to overcome them. When the shaitan makes you fall into sin, when the shaitan comes to you and he makes you fall into the same ugly, dirty habit over and over and over again, he has a specific formula that he follows all the time. And that is, he comes to you step by step by step. As Allah says in the Quran, وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا خُطُوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ Do not even follow the footsteps of the shaitan. Because the shaitan doesn't come up to you out of the blue and say, hey, let's do this sinful act. No, he'll make you do actions which come to the point where you have no choice, but you're going to fall into that sinful action. So for example, he won't come up to you and say, hey, you should watch porn. Hey, you should have a drink of alcohol. He'll come up to you and he'll say, hey, watch this little music video. Hey, turn on the TV and watch this okay, but a little bit of sinful movie. He'll tell you, turn on the TV and watch this movie. It's not that haram, but it has a little bit of bad stuff in it. That's how he comes to you. He comes to you footstep by footstep by footstep. You need to be a master of him at his own game to overcome him, to make sure you do not fall into his footsteps. Because he will come to you whispering, the waswasa of the shaitan, and creeping up to you slowly. So you have to understand that this is how he works. You have to beat him at this. This means, don't come anywhere close to the things that which may lead you to that which is haram. If you know by being in a certain environment, if you know by hanging around with certain friends, it may lead you to an action, which may lead you to an action, which may lead you to an action, which is haram, avoid it, stay away from it. How do I know this? Even the disbelievers, even the people that call to haram, they will admit this. They'll come out in their music videos, in their songs, and in their lyrics, they'll say it starts with a, a look. Then it starts with a conversation. Then it starts with a smile. Then it starts with a hug. And then God knows where it ends. These are the footsteps of the shaitan that you must be aware of in order to avoid falling in to the great sins that Allah has prohibited. So you know yourself. You know yourself better than anyone else does. You have to tell yourself, look, if this action, if this environment, if these friends, if these people, if these thoughts that I'm having are going to lead to an action, which is going to lead to an action, stop it from the get-go. Stop the thought from even entering your head. If the thought even enters your head, just throw it out. Think of something else. And if that doesn't help you, force yourself to be in an environment which will stop those thoughts from even coming to you, which, which, whatever it may be, however it may be, whether it means going to the masjid, whether it means hanging around with a righteous friend, whether it means avoid being alone or in a context or an environment which may just put that inclination in your heart, avoid it and force yourself to be in the environments that will protect you. And the best of environments that will protect you are the environments which are, which in where the remembrance of Allah is being recited, where the signs of Allah are being reflected. These are the best of environments and these will save you from falling into these dirty paths of the shaitan. Do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.